Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, and welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. It brings me no freaking pleasure, y'all, to talk about this story that I'm about to bring to y'all from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Um, and I don't want black people to get defensive because this is definitely um, for us. You know, we spend a lot of time blaming others and talking about the, um, the conditioning that has gotten us in this situation. And while I don't disagree with a lot of conditioning, I don't think like that. So you have the sons and the daughters of the weak slave and you have the sons and daughters of the strong slave, of the strong slave, all rolled into one. So when you talk about how vigilante justice is not the way to go, and when we talk about white people for gathering in mobs to burn down places like Black Wall Street or gathering mobs to pull us up out of uh, jails, which I am the first to say, don't get it twisted, is one of the worst things that could possibly have happen to somebody that's been charged with something. Because you don't know if they're guilty, you don't know if they're innocent, and it, because you are so emotionally retarded, out of control, um, um, actually insane, emotionally insane. And so when you are emotionally insane, you become overcome by emotion, you can stoop to any level. You're not the head at the Sphinx anymore. You got the body and you got the head. Okay, the head is supposed to rule the body. If it is not, if the head and the brain is not ruling the body, then you out of alignment. You're out of alignment, as far as I'm concerned. You're totally out of alignment. And this is a perfect example of what I'm saying. This was, I used to live in the Sherman Park area on 41st Street. Nice, big, beautiful home with big fireplaces. One of the most Beautiful structurally houses that are found here in Milwaukee. However, it's a neighborhood that a lot of um, infidels and riffraff have taken over the neighborhood. And they are afforded the luxury of these beautiful homes that um, whether they own them or whether they rent them, they are due the responsibility of taking care of them and keeping a place uh, and a roof over their head for their children. Correct? All right. So after a chaotic saga unfolded, it's centered around two missing teenage girls and a Washington Park home suspected of being a sex trafficking hub. Milwaukee police said Wednesday that there was no indication that the girls were ever there or that the house was even used for such activity. Did you hear what I said, y'all? So for those of y'all in Milwaukee that know what happened? Nope. The house wasn't involved in the activity and neither were the girls. The girls aged 13 and 15 were found by their mothers more than three miles away, police said, and have since been, re been reunited with their families after interviews with the investigators. The developments come after a civilian-led search for the girls evolved over several hours Tuesday. And it evolved to a civil unrest and a clash between a crowd gathered and police in tactical gear on twenty at twenty in the twenty one hundred block of the North Fortieth Street area, which makes it around what Fortieth and Lloyd. Now I, I lived on Garfield, forty uh, first and Garfield, which is a block up and maybe um, a, a, a block to the north. So I lived. I lived south of here, just by one block. After, oh my God, it's uh, left in the wake of the events was three people were shot, including two 14-year-olds. We shooting our own babies. Plus 10 officers and a firefighter was injured and the house was set on fire twice. And an unknown number of other 
hurt by tear gas rubber bullets that the police fired into the scattering crowd. It was actually like a, a, a mob out. I saw it. I was totally uh, disappointed in black Milwaukee. There's an element, a subculture in every group of black people that don't nobody, can't nobody represent. They got to represent themselves so you can see them on full display. And then we got to deal with these people. These people. Because while this woman was in the hospital having a baby, her house was burnt down. For nothing. By some fools that could not control themselves emotionally. Yeah, I said the word fools. Fools. Nothing ever good come out of a mad mob mentality. Look at Black Wall Street. Look at all the mobs that black people done done, white people done done, and pulled black people out and, and, and sent them out and burned them up and did they how? And now we doing it to ourselves. We do it to ourselves. To validate the Candace Owenses, Owenses, those those types, this type of rhetoric, this type of behavior, it was an extraordinary example of just how deeply rooted the frustration and mistrust of the police can be found in Milwaukee's communities of color. Not just a mistrust of the police, mistrust of one another. Because if we did think that was the house that was responsible for sex trafficking our children. Where the men folk in the community at? Where they at? And that's the best they do? There's no cohesive, no thought pattern, no direction, no guide. Just a valley oop of free for all, burn down somebody's house, whether we right or wrong, we don't care, we just mad. That don't cut it, people. They don't cut it, people. Y'all can't do that. Prominent local activists accuse the police of not trying hard enough to find the missing persons, which they did. The people called about the police. There was never an Amber Alert. So they dirty. They don't give a damn about us, and we don't give a damn about ourselves. Now, what do you do in a situation like that? You got it from both ends. You got an element in your community that don't give a damn about you or busting your house or burning down or steal and breaking it like in any other group. And then you got a but you got a police department that you pay taxes to that don't give a damn if your kids is missing. Milwaukee Police Chief Alfonso Morales, who I wish would get out of there right away, described the crowd actions as vigilanteism. People have to understand, we have to allow the police and the firefighters to do their jobs, said Milwaukee Tom Barrett, who stopped by the scene Tuesday night. The police had been to that house earlier in the day, and the girls weren't there. And the firefighters need to be able to put out fires without worrying for their own safety. See. But questions still remain about exactly what happened and how a missing person's investigation led to such an outcome. What we know about the situation unfolded. Here's what we know. According to the Council of Milwaukee MPD and the Milwaukee Fire Departments, along with hours of video posted to social media, two girls, uh, the ages of 15 and... Um, uh, 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 13 were last seen in the 2900 block of North uh, 21st Street. They were reported missing four hours later, said Sergeant Ephraim Conhito. Morales said police responded to the 2100 block of North 40th Street on Monday and stop it! In reference to the report of the missing girls. Um, and so MPD call log show that police twice went to the block that night at 11 p.m. for trouble with a subject. Call and again one hour later for a report of a threat. Police searched the house but did not find the missing girls. Multiple MPD officials said the girls did not fit the criteria of an Amber Alert and that they were not 
uh, labeled as critically missing because police were not given information leading them to believe that their lives were in danger. Okay. I got to take it with a grain of salt. I got to use, I got to take my emotion out of this because I know some of our kids can be fast and they can be, and two of them left together. And I know in Milwaukee, we got a bad problem with sex trafficking. So your mind can go either way because what we still got girls on the streets that, for lack of better word, they mama even put them out there. They mamas have put them out there to stroke to stroke. Y'all don't understand what's going on out here in these streets. That, um, let's see, um, they didn't give a, a critical missing um, Amber Alert, and I think a lot of people in the neighborhood got mad. That wrinkled some members of the public who felt that the police were not doing all they could to find the girls. Would you guys settle down? Abu, I know that's you. On Tuesday morning, a group of people congregated outside a specific home in the 2100 block of North 40th Street after seeing social media posts about the house and the two missing girls. Police were called to the house shortly after 10 a.m. after several people allegedly trying to enter the house to look for the girls after the police said they wasn't there. This is not, this is not normal behavior, black people. It's not normal behavior. So the police went to the house a couple times, told you they didn't see the girl. So now y'all don't believe nothing the police say. And so now y'all going to go break in the house and go look for the people, the girl yourself, and people live there? You that stupid? That ignorant? Well, apparently you are. So about 10 a.m., Van Mays, Von Mays, a highly visible community activist, arrived at the scene shortly after the police. Perhaps two dozen people were already there when Mays began an hours-long live stream video over Facebook, which soon garbled the attention of several thousand viewers. In the opening minutes of the video, he addresses the camera and spoke about the difficulty of getting missing person reports going and that the community members had set up their own system via social media for listing missing people. 